OAC Football Media Day underway at the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, and the Yellow Jackets are just about ready to get underway here in 2017. We're here with Trip Washington, who's one of the defensive stalwarts for the team. We'll talk about defense in a minute, but let's get the first question out of the way about the new coaching staff. What's the atmosphere like? What's the energy like? And, and, and how does it feel different maybe for you from last year? Um, first, co first coming in, their intensity and passion for the game is just it's on another level, honestly, with all of them. Down to Hilbert, to Coach Firth, Coach Foos, and Coach, Coach Nemeth. Is there something about the way this staff has come together that's you know, made you guys as a collective group sort of elevate your work ethic? Definitely, because when they come in with that passion and that intensity, it just, it's, no, it's a no-brainer for us just to pick up the game and have to step it up. You've obviously played a big role in the defense the last couple of years. I know home for you is not necessarily close by, but you've certainly found a home in the secondary. What do you love about playing safety at BW? I just love the control aspect of the game. Just You have to know if it's... You have to know the tendencies of the offense. You got to know if it's a run or pass, and control the game. You just if the ball's in the air, you control it. If they run the ball, you got to force it in. So I love that. Uh, opening day is really only a few weeks away at this point. The conference schedule is structured such that you have two of the national semifinalists in your first two conference games of the year. How much is that a focus for you guys going into preparation for the season? It's a big focus. We we definitely make that a real focus, but they're they're big on one game at a, one day at a time, one game at a time, and one keep it in one at a time. So they're focused on defiance right now. So that's a big deal. How about the fact that you know, as an upperclassman and a leader on this team, you've got a chance to kind of mentor some of the young kids. Uh, I know they're more your friends. You don't feel like they're kids. They're yeah. guys you, you, you know you go to battle with. But what's it been like to take more of a leadership role here for you? It's been different. Like coming in when you're young, you just don't you don't think it's going to get to that point. But when it hits you, it's like wow. They kind of they really look up to me. They really they really take after like what I'm doing, my work ethic. They watch it and they just ask questions and stuff. You got to be there for them. Just act like the big brother. So I take us. What have you learned most about yourself? Something that maybe you surprised yourself when you found out, wow, I'm either really good at this or I, I'm, you know, I, I'm better at managing my time with this. Something about yourself that uh, maybe caught you by surprise. Um, I found out like I'm a good leader. I didn't know I was a good leader. Like I'm good at motivating people. I think I'm an inspiration for people. Like just working out and stuff. Like when I'm working out, people come and work out with me. They ask me, are you working out today? Can I work out with you? Like, yeah. So I guess I'm a good leader. I never knew that. Love to hear it. Can't wait to see how it uh, translates on the field. Congratulations on all that you've accomplished. I know you're excited for the year. Good yes, luck. Sir. Thank you. Our coverage of Baldwin-Wallace football at the Ohio Athletic Conference Media Day from the Hall of Fame in Canton continues this afternoon. We're here with outside linebacker Sam Groff, who grew up just 10 minutes down the road, so this kind of feels like home yeah, for you. I'm sure does. when uh, when you have chances as a kid to play football, this is this is a staple for you. This is a place that you know you can look to and say the greatest of the greats were there. Let's start with that. What's it mean for you to not only grow up in a city where football is so you know rich in its tradition, but to be able to have the Hall of Fame right in your backyard? Uh, it's it's incredible. Um, growing up as a little kid, driving by 77, uh, you look to your left and you see. Uh, the Pro Football Hall of Fame, just to think of the names that go here and come back and see the history of the game that I'm playing today um, is quite amazing. On the Baldwin-Wallace side, you're a big part of the team defensively. Last year there were some games where the defense made some really important plays, and I thought there was room for growth, but I know the record wasn't really where everybody wanted it. And the focus this offseason has been on the new coaching staff and the cultural changes. Let's talk defense specifically. What do you like about what you're feeling here is new this year defensively? So Coach Hilvert's kind of game plan this year um, compared to last year is a lot of pressure on the quarterback, making the quarterback uncomfortable, um, getting the other team out of rhythm, um, and getting in our own, um, being sharp, um, just kind of doing everything right. Last year we had a tendency to kind of forget our jobs and uh, drift away um, from those responsibilities. And this year it's more of a tight-knit group, um, returning a lot of um, starters and key players that played. Um, there's no doubt that we could um, improve our record immensely, and we're kind of hiding in the weeds in the OAC. At three and seven is just not a typical Baldwin Wallace football team, and I think what needs to be mentioned is that of the seven losses, the majority were by a touchdown or less. You were in just about yeah. every single game you mm -hmm. played, including with John Carroll, went all the way down to the wire. What's the focus about trying to finish games and, and maybe make that one extra defensive play? which could make all the difference in your record at the end of the year. Oh, there's a huge stress on that. Coach Hilbert knew coming in um, when he applied for the job that this is a team that if you get the right person in here, um, you can explode with this, um, the program and the kids you can get. Um, the kids we have 
um, currently. Um, like you said, we're a touchdown away or even a field goal or leading most games. Um, at one point, um, we were up on John Kerr, we were up on Mount Union. Um, it's just kind of holding that and kind of getting that dog or that fire in you um, to keep going and don't let the other team breathe. What's it mean for you personally to play football at Baldwin Wallace? It's a huge honor. My father played here. Um, he graduated in 73, MBW's Hall of Fame. So um, to get my chance to kind of follow in his footsteps and play for um, a rich, um, vast tradition of people, the Trestle family, um, Mark Summers, just very successful people and people that I can associate my name with is awesome. Congratulations on all the success and all that is to come. Looking forward to the season. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Sam Groff, outside linebacker for the Jackets. Baldwin Wallace head coach Jim Hilbert just addressed the room here at, uh, at Media Day. And coach, your first chance to address the league in a formal setting like this as the head coach. Did it live up to the expectations you hoped? Oh, definitely. What a great atmosphere to be in the Hall of Fame and obviously being associated with all the great players that are in that room and also with the coaches. And I mentioned that in my speech. What a great coaching fraternity. And it's an honor and privilege to be, obviously, one of the coaches in the OAC and obviously to be at BW. Obviously, rich in football tradition to be at BW. We're about almost a week and a half away from season kicking off. And very, fi very fired up and jacked up to be ready to start off. Really, really, you can feel the excitement. Kids have been talking about the last couple of weeks, and August 8th is almost here. I know you're a one game at a time kind of guy, and you try to just stay focused on the job at hand, but you did reference the fact that your first two games in conference are against two of the national semifinalists. You're going to get a chance right away to, to kind of see how you stack up. Has that been a point of emphasis for your team here as you went through spring ball, or are you just trying to really just focus on defiance week one? I think it just goes on with your culture. I mean, you focus on We're going to focus on defiance. But if your overall culture, we need to be tough. We're going to find out what we're made of right away in the first three games and how we handle adversity. And I tell our guys, you cannot flinch in the face of adversity. we got to be able to smack in the face. We've got to have guys that are, want to be able to compete every single day, be able to get better every single day. And I think we have that group that's going in that right direction. Camp's right around the corner. Uh, camp will not be easy. But I think that goes back to just like our season. It ain't going to be easy. And obviously when you go after those two games, you got Marietta, you got Wilmington, the list goes on, Ottermine. So you got to be every single week, got to be ready to play. You brought two guys with you here who have been staples on the defense for BW the last couple of years. Trip Washington's a very athletic safety. Sam Groff is a really intelligent linebacker. How much are you relying specifically on those two guys to kind of anchor that side of the ball? Oh, there's no doubt about it. I look at them as two quarterbacks. I know Sam played quarterback in high school. Still wants to play quarterback in college, but I look at two quarterbacks. They really do. I mean, I think Sam does a great job with our front seven, making the calls, making sure everybody's on the same page. Matter of fact, with Sean Nershowitz, they do a really good job, both of our captains. And Tripp did a, had a great spring ball. He's done an unbelievable in the offseason, getting ready for this season. And he's made a lot of plays during spring ball. He really flourished in what our system was doing. And I'm really excited about him this football season. I know the sky's the limit for him. Can't wait to see the Jackets get out on the field. Good luck. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right.